Saving and investing are two critical components for securing your financial future. This section delves into the fundamental concepts of compound interest, dollar cost averaging, and the value of an emergency fund. Consider your money working for you even while you're sleeping. That is the magic of compound interest. In finance, this is known as the snowball effect. Your earnings generate earnings, which generate more earnings. It's a wealth building cycle that begins slowly but grows over time. The beauty of compound interest is its exponential growth. Whether you are saving for retirement or a rainy day, the sooner you begin, the better. Even small contributions can accumulate to large sums over time. Consider this scenario. You invest $1,000 at a 5% annual interest rate. In the first year, you earn $50 in interest, totaling $1,050. In the second year, the 5% interest is applied not only to your initial $1,000, but also to the $50 interest earned in the first year, totaling $52.50 in interest. Over several decades, this compounding effect can transform your initial investment into a sizable nest egg. What's the key takeaway? Start early, be consistent, and use compound interest to grow your wealth. Investing in the stock market can be daunting, especially given the volatility of daily fluctuations. That's where dollar cost averaging DCA, comes in, a strategy for smoothing out the bumps on the path to long-term wealth accumulation. Instead of trying to time the market, DCA allows you to invest a set amount of money at regular intervals, regardless of market conditions. When prices rise, your fixed investment buys fewer shares, when prices fall, your investment buys more shares. This strategy gradually averages the cost per share, reducing the risk of investing a large sum at the wrong time. Let's say you decide to invest $500 in a specific stock each month. When prices are high, $500 may buy you 10 shares. When prices fall, that same $500 may buy you 15 shares. This disciplined approach not only takes the guesswork out of investing, but it also allows you to capitalize on market downturns. DCA emphasizes consistency and patience. By sticking to your investment strategy through thick and thin, you can leverage the power of market fluctuations to steadily build wealth over time. Life is full of unexpected twists and turns, and having an emergency fund can provide a much needed safety net when something unexpected happens. An emergency fund is a cash reserve set aside to cover unexpected expenses such as medical bills, car repairs, or job loss. Ideally, your emergency fund should be easily accessible, usually in a high-yield savings account or money market fund. Financial experts recommend saving three to six months worth of living expenses to weather any storm that may arise. Having an emergency fund not only gives you peace of mind, but it also keeps you from depleting your long-term investments when unexpected expenses arise. It serves as a buffer, allowing you to ride out life's ups and downs without jeopardizing your financial goals. Saving and investing are the foundations of a stable financial future. You can lay the groundwork for long-term wealth accumulation by taking advantage of compound interest, practicing dollar cost averaging, and keeping an emergency fund. Remember that it's not just how much money you make, but how well you manage and grow it. Asset allocation is the process of diversifying your investments across various asset classes, such as stocks, bonds, and real estate, in order to maximize returns while minimizing risk. The goal is to strike the appropriate balance of growth and stability based on your risk tolerance, time horizon, and financial objectives. Diversification is the foundation of asset allocation. By diversifying your investments across asset classes, you can mitigate the impact of volatility in any one market or sector. For example, when stocks are performing well, bonds can provide stability, and vice versa. This helps to smooth out the peaks and valleys in your investment portfolio, thereby increasing its resilience over time. Understanding your individual financial situation and risk tolerance is essential for effective asset allocation. Younger investors with a longer time horizon may favor more aggressive growth investments such as stocks, whereas those approaching retirement may prefer a more conservative approach with a greater allocation to bonds and cash equivalents. Regular rebalancing of your portfolio is also required to maintain your desired asset allocation. Market fluctuations can cause your investment mix to deviate from its original target, necessitating periodic adjustments to align your portfolio with your long-term goals. Finally, asset allocation is about determining the optimal mix of investments to achieve your financial objectives while effectively managing risk. 
Diversifying across asset classes and rebalancing your portfolio on a regular basis can help you maximize returns while weathering the market's inevitable fluctuations. Your debt-to-income (DTI) ratio is an important indicator of your financial health because it shows how much of your monthly income is spent on debt payments. It is determined by dividing your total monthly debt payments by your gross monthly income and expressed as a percentage. A high DTI ratio may indicate financial distress, making it difficult to meet obligations and achieve long-term objectives. Lenders use DTI ratios to determine your ability to responsibly manage additional debt, which influences your eligibility for loans and credit lines. To determine your DTI ratio, add up all of your monthly debt payments, mortgage, car loans, credit card bills, and student loans, and divide by your gross monthly income. For example, if your total monthly debt payments are $2,000 and your gross monthly income is $5,000, your DTI ratio will be 40%. Financial experts generally advise keeping your DTI ratio below 36% to ensure you have enough budget flexibility to cover necessary expenses and save for the future. A lower DTI ratio indicates a better financial situation, indicating that you're living within your means and not overburdened with debt. If your DTI ratio is higher than desired you can use several strategies to improve it. These may include increasing your income through side hustles or career advancement paying down debt aggressively or refinancing high interest loans to lower your monthly payments asset allocation and debt to income ratio are two important aspects of financial planning that can have a significant impact on your long-term financial well-being. You can build a secure and prosperous future by strategically diversifying your investments and maintaining a healthy balance of income and debt. Remember, financial planning is a continuous process that requires diligence, discipline, and adaptability to achieve your objectives. In the unpredictable world of finance, risk management is essential. It is about recognizing and mitigating the various risks that may jeopardize your financial security. In this section, we will look at the concept of risk tolerance and how it influences your investment decisions. Risk tolerance refers to your willingness and ability to withstand fluctuations in the value of your investments. It is influenced by your age, financial objectives, time horizon, and temperament. Understanding your risk tolerance is critical because it determines the best investment strategy to match your comfort level and goals. Your investment time horizon is a key factor in determining risk tolerance. In general, the longer your time horizon, the higher your risk tolerance. For example, a young investor saving for retirement decades in the future may have a higher risk tolerance and allocate a larger portion of their portfolio to stocks, which have historically provided higher long-term returns despite higher volatility. On the other hand, someone approaching retirement may have a lower risk tolerance and prioritize capital preservation by shifting to more conservative investments such as bonds and cash equivalents. Financial goals also influence your risk tolerance. If your primary goal is to accumulate wealth for retirement, you may be willing to accept higher levels of risk in exchange for long-term growth. However, if you're saving for a short-term goal, such as a down payment on a home or funding a child's education, you may want to choose more conservative investments to protect your principal from market fluctuations. Personal temperament and psychological factors both influence risk tolerance. Some investors have a natural proclivity for risk-taking, while others may experience anxiety or stress during periods of market volatility. It's critical to understand your emotional reactions to risk and strike a balance that allows you to stay invested during market fluctuations without panicking or making rash decisions. Assessing your risk tolerance requires both quantitative analysis and introspection. Online risk tolerance questionnaires and tools can help you get started by quantifying your risk preferences based on factors such as investment experience, financial knowledge, and response to hypothetical scenarios. However, it is equally important to consider your own feelings and attitudes toward risk and how they may influence your investment decisions. Once you've determined your risk tolerance, the next step is to create a diverse investment portfolio that corresponds to your comfort level and financial goals. This could include selecting a mix of assets with varying levels of risk and return potential, rebalancing on a regular basis to maintain your desired asset allocation, and remaining disciplined during market turbulence. Risk tolerance is an important aspect of successful investing. Understanding your willingness and ability to tolerate risk allows you to create a personalized investment strategy that maximizes returns while reducing the likelihood of emotional or financial distress. Remember that risk is an inherent part of investing. 
However, how you manage and mitigate that risk will ultimately determine your long-term success.